lagi Cukulah kau dapatkan diri lebih Buru kaya kapak pundi dulu kumba Syukur lu kumba lah ya The Zebra That's a zebra, guys. You guys, <laughs> this zebra. zebra is one of our new ads. It is a, an insurance comparison site. Mm-hmm. When I was a kid, I didn't have car insurance back in the day, yeah. right? And I would bang up my th- uh, my car. Oh, God. And I was always scared because I couldn't afford car insurance. Yep. And, um, you know, so I just drove illegally. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I do. I used to do. Yeah. But you guys, um, this is a great site, dude. It's like, tell them about it. It's basically like a kayak for auto insurance. It's where you can compare different insurance companies and their prices and policies. Get the best they deal. don't. Oh, you know, here's another thing: that they don't um, sell your information to uh, spam to spammers. Um, sites, spammers, Ugh. right? It's a big they deal. Don't. Yeah, they don't. They don't. Tell them more about it, Gil. Gil, guys, to get into the zebra. zebra. <laughs> <laughs> Go today and start saving at thezebra.com slash belly. That's thezebra.com slash belly. Spell T H E Z E B R A dot com slash belly. Uh, I actually checked it out. It's super easy to use. I anyway, can tw- 20 bucks a month. Uh, <laughs> okay. 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 okay, those are guys. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, you know, those are super easy to use. Yeah. Those are super easy to use. Raise the roof, dude. Damn, is there a fire there, bro? There's a fire on my pants, brah. Oh, I think that's herpes. <laughs> that's herpes, you know brah. Go through like artists and see if Bobby knows who they are. No, I want to talk about that too. I want to talk about because you said something that offended me yesterday, but I want to bring that up too. Ooh. You said up into a point, I'm not hip. You, like I don't, I, I don't absorb. <laughs> I didn't absorb. So there was a certain date, and then I stopped absorbing what's relevant. Yeah, that is fighting. So this. let's go. Let's go. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, two one. one. Blast up. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly, guys. Um, we don't have a guest. This is the first solo we've done in a very, very long time, and it's it almost feels um, like we're all alone. And because when I walked into this room, I didn't really know what to say to you guys. I looked at George. I'm like, uh. I looked at Gilbert. I was like, mm, pass. Yeah. I looked at yes. Kalila. I said, Kalila, what? You were dismissive you to him too. On I love Gilbert. it. I'd rather. No, no, no. Uh, can I? I'll, oh, no, no. Let's. Let me reiterate. George is really cocky. Yeah, you're really cocky right now. Um, when I walked in here, I go. I looked. I looked at George, and I went, Ugh, like that. And I looked at Gilbert, and it was like, I think I just got the residual of you. Fuck you, George. When I looked at George. Fuck you, right? George. So, f- oh, I'm so mean to you, George. You're so, you work so hard for us. He does. I feel so bad. I feel like that's another thing we truly need to address. You are Jared Kushner. <laughs> you are like you don't belong but you do like you have access you have access to the Oval Office but you shouldn't <laughs> the quiet one with a weird yeah. voice you're like always surprised when yeah. he talks. like that's, that's what he sounds like yeah. yeah so um, I shouldn't be if this was the, uh, the if I was the president yeah. I'm gonna name you. of course Kalila would be Melania oh, and then really um, you be- you um, Gilbert would be um you would be who else? You would you be? You would you be. You would be Kellyanne Conway. Kellyanne Conway for sure. Yeah, that's one hundred percent. You're Kellyanne Conway. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're like that. Yeah, Bobby and George. You're a Kushner. I feel like you Kush. could spin anything, Gil. Yeah, you could spin anything. Listen, guys. Um, I wasn't able to talk about this, but you know, you know, they talk about twins, right? Like if a twin gets diarrhea, let's say a twin lives in Boston. Massachusetts. Okay. We're doing a science alert, right? Yeah, a science alert. Okay. Definitely science, science, science alert. Beep, 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 which is also science alert. Which is also referenced on the haunting of Hill House. Remember the twin thing? Wow. Episode three, maybe. Ah. You, okay, I, twins are connected. Yeah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh my god! Then. Yeah. Wait, I think I beat him. What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, you deep wow. throw good, bro. Yeah, That's what's, what's up? Okay. What's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I suck the dick, um, <laughs> this is exactly, if I was forced, I was in prison, and I, there was a black dick in front of me, uh, okay. and I had to suck it, yep. this is exactly my face, was, this is my face would be like this, no, do it, I don't want to, do it, and I'd be like, <laughs> stop making sound, stop making sound, <laughs> right, that would be me, would you, what would you do? Would you teeth it? Be real though, but be real okay, about it. Yo, man, suck it. Okay, but I use only teeth. <laughs> chom chom. 
That's what you would do? i go chomp chomp. No, you wouldn't use your teeth. You'd get hurt. I just do it, man. It's All a, right, it's bro. Humi- it's already All humiliating right, enough. Dude. They're going to American so anyway, History X you and make you fucking bite the concrete. Yeah. <laughs> Let me say something, though. So, um, so twins, right? Yeah. If one lives in Boston, the other one lives in Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. Or, or wherever, anywhere else. Okay. Uh, Good Morocco, Morocco, Morocco. Fine, Morocco. Let's go with Morocco, yeah. right? And and one of the twin, like his stomach hurts. Yeah. And he has a little di- diarrhea. Okay. The other one, his stomach hurts too from Morocco. Mm-hmm. Okay. So they have a connection that way. My brother and I have the same connection. That's like a telepathic And I never ability. told you about this, okay? So when my brother and I were in Phoenix, mm-hmm. I swear to God this happened. I lie a lot. Okay? That's one of my character defects. I exaggerate. What did what the fucking say? Embellish. What did what, what did who was here that said that thing? Oh yeah, Mike Michael Bisbing. Bisbing. What did he say? Chinese proverb. Chinese yeah. ching chong. Yes. Go what he say? What do you say? Cheeky bastard. What? This guy. No, no, no. no. Don't let no the that's truth, not what he said. Don't let the truth uh, get in the way of a good story. story. Uh, I was yeah, making yeah, Gilbert yeah. say it cuz he forgot it. He didn't twice. remember. I he didn't remember. I for sure didn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cheeky it's a cheeky one what did Michael Bisping say yeah. it's a cheeky, cheeky bastard it's yeah. a fucking cheeky bastard so funny <laughs> but this is the truth okay so I was so my parents house they we live in they live in a place called Gilbert Arizona I'm not gonna give you the street name not that you would stalk them but um, they live in a two story brown standard track home track home I'll more details about the house yeah, yeah. That, that is not a track home sweetie I don't know what a track home is What's a track home? What is a track home? A track home is a is a neighborhood of houses. They all look exactly the same. Oh, okay. Really? That's yeah. what a track home is? Look it up. I'm pretty sure that's what like it is. I feel like that's like your average, what is it, like... Uh... Yeah, track housing. T-R-A-C-T. I know they all it... look the same. They all look the same. Track. Multiple similar homes that are built on a track of land. Yeah, yeah. So they well, live in a... all of Arizona then. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay? So they live in a track home. All the houses look the same. Oh, you're right. Their house, their house is abnormally hot. Like my dad can't sleep if he sees feels any cold. So it's at ninety degrees the 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 heater. Jeez. So I had to cover the vents with like um, <laughs> duct tape. I went to uh, Walgreens. Oh my! God. I got duct tape. I have to leave the window open. It's it's a whole fucking thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. And my brother is in the room next to me. Okay, and he for some reason his room is just the the air is quality is very good. So I'm sweating. I'm sweating on my bed. It's five in the morning, and um, I'm sleeping. And I wake up. I open my eyes, and I sit to myself. I think I'm losing my mind. I was in a subconscious thought. Mm-hmm. I went into my subconscious. And I started thinking about my own brain. I don't know. It was weird. I just started going crazy. What images were you seeing? It wasn't an image. It was just thinking about my subconscious. I, I, I can't even really describe it. But I was putting my hand over my head like this. And I was going, no, no. Like that. You're just half asleep. Maybe. You were like stuck in like. Yeah, a, I was stuck in a dream state. Or I, I was going, no, no. I was on the edge of the bed. I was sweating. And I was going, I'm losing my mind. And I had a pace, right? And it, and I looked at my clock. It was like 5.30 in the morning. And then eventually, I laid down and I went back to sleep. I woke up at like 4 in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> exactly when my brother woke up. And I look at my brother and my brother's eyes, it looked like he had been crying. Steve. He goes, Bob. I go, what? He goes, at 5.30 in the morning, I woke up and my tooth, my tooth is dying. I go, what happened? He goes, I have toothache. At 5.30 in the morning in his room, he was going through the same thing, but he had a toothache. Whoa. That's like a fucking connection, bro. And then wasn't he like praying on his knees? He was he praying. I was praying. He was praying on his knees too. At the same time. At the same time we were praying. So what is that? Coincidence? I think not. But you guys aren't twins. What? You guys are twins. Yeah, but still, we're close. Okay. What? what? I believe in that stuff. Don't challenge me, fuck. No, but you used an example of twins in Morocco and Boston. I, I know. Pay attention say, to your science. I just said that. But you're challenging me, you fuck. No, I'm asking. Don't don't do that. Okay, you're right. Yeah, we're not twins, but because you're connected maybe deeply. Yeah, like you and your sister deeply. 
connected, right? We finish each other's you, thoughts, sentences, everything. Yeah, right? Yeah. So I think my brother and Steve and I have the same thing. And while he was going through his massive toothache, right? And then, mm -hmm. so we get him a dentist, right? And then he texts me what the, they, I guess they photographed his mouth. I have the photo on my phone, <laughs> right? That's right. He went, yeah. he I, I li it literally, I thought it was from National Geographic. I want to see And it was the mouth of a hyena. That's what it looked like. Just the one tooth or? No, what it, I'm in it, awe it, of though is that he texted me at when he had a toothache and he's like, Kalai, you know, can you please make me a dentist appointment? So I was like, of course. So I said, Steve, as soon as you get home, I'll make you a dentist appointment. And he was like, no, no, it has to be after this date. Right, his so show. So he had to, he waited like two weeks till after his show yeah. performed oh yes. with a massive toothache. No, but what he did though was this, is when he, which he fucked up because when he went to the dentist, they looked in his mouth and they go, we got to yank two teeth. He's like, why? Because the nerves are dead. So he gets to the point where it passed the pain. Oh. So he goes to the pain of it's the infected. root. It's infected. Now he has to be on antibiotics because it's all like mold and whatever it might be. <laughs> mold. You know what I mean? Maybe. Black mold or whatever. Know. We don't even know what's no, in there, know. right? It's a mystery. But it's like, he's never flossed. He dips. He dips. Oh, uh, well, yeah. And he brushes... I don't know when. I I because I I don't. I in fact I've never seen him brush his teeth. No, Ilani says he does now and he flosses now. <laughs> I'm just saying I've known him for forty four years. <laughs> I've seen it. Once. I don't really. I I don't have a memory of him <laughs> ever brushing his teeth. Like even as kids together. Even, I, I, I'm trying together. to think right now. It's like when like I don't even remember like because him and I had the same bathroom. Yeah. Sharing, you know who growing fucked up? up there? What you you weren't a good older brother. You didn't teach him properly. I don't give a fuck about his teeth. <laughs> fuck his teeth, right? I, I don't even remember going to the bathroom brushing my own teeth and looking at my brother's toothbrush and going, oh, I don't want to mix toothbrushes. Never, that never happened to me. Yeah, I only, to me there was the only time. one toothbrush. You. Yeah, and I would touch it. It was always dry when I used it, so he never used it. Damn. So I don't remember him ever brushing his teeth, like that fucking hyena. What? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And my brother, um, he just has this thing. He just has, he just doesn't, because even that weekend, I'm like, as soon as we get in town, I'll make an appointment. He's like, no. He can, he'll just go through the pain of it. Mm. Isn't that crazy? Jeez. You know how bad toothaches are, right? Do they hurt? It's real bad. He was praying on his knees at 5 yeah, in dude, the morning. Yeah, tears in his eyes. Oh my God. I know. So now he just has no teeth. They're just gone. Well, they haven't pulled them out yet. They, we, they, we have to pay for that oral procedure. Surgeon, yeah. We have to pay for that procedure. Tiger belly is. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to take a little hit. Donate, donations. No, no, no. We got, we got some money saved for my brother's teeth. Go fund me for <laughs> We're going to go go fund me. <laughs> we're tea fun, fun, fun for my brother. Tea fund. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we'll add it to our Patreon levels. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> a um, teeth fund me. A teeth fund me. I can't even, I honestly, like, I, 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 I love him so much that I just. I, I, he's like having a son though it's like having a child mm. you know I, I've you know if he's hungry I need to feed him you know if he's lo he can't afford something I have to get it you know he's just gonna be a part of you know my like in my mind everything that I have is a he's a part of that whole mm -hmm. if I make money it's like it's like he's a part of that mm -hmm. whole thing you know mm -hmm. which is is that Korean or am I just a good dude <laughs> I love the choices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it my ethnicity or is, is it, it, is my, is it my culture or, or is, my, it, is, it, is it my heart? It's your core. Do you feel like maybe you've stunted him in a way? Oh, yeah, for sure. I've enabled him to the point where he doesn't have to do anything. What do you think if you didn't do that? But here's the thing, though. I think it's Korean hmm. because the oldest son in Korean culture is the responsible one. So I wasn't responsible in the way that maybe normal older brothers were, you know, like in terms of like, you gotta do your homework or yeah. you have to show up on time to your job, but I'm a fixer. You know, I can't see, well, let's go to the hospital. Nice. That happened once, yeah, I told you that already. Wait, what, what happened? Does that make me Korean? Because I take care of the both of you. Yeah, yeah, you're very Korean. You're very yeah, yeah, Korean yeah, yeah. In that way. My brother called me one day. Yeah, how long ago was this? I never said this, this is a big thing. I don't remember. He this. calls me one day, I go, what's up? He goes, 
Bob? Again, he goes, I can't see. Mm. You've told this story multiple oh, yeah? times. And I go, well, you can't see? I can't see. I mean, when somebody, your brother calls you to say something like that, the panic. I go to his house. He had clouds in his eyes or something. Cataracts. Maybe. He had cataracts, oh, cataracts, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. So we had to go to a fucking eye surgeon guy, and, and they had to, like, zap his eyes, you know? Oh. But it was, like, weird. What's so funny? It's just the calls that you get are you so, like, terrifying. Get, well, I know, it's terrifying. Also, you just don't get cataracts overnight. Like, your vision slowly starts to How go, right? How do you get right? that? I don't even know. Like, a, a lot of sun exposure. Mm. Some people oh, yeah. are more prone to them. But... Yeah. I, he's been not seeing for a while. I think that was just the point where it really started yeah, to get yeah, dark. He, he always him. waits till it gets he wakes to the very end. Oh my god! Yeah, like he'll wait before like if this happened, if his asshole fell out, <laughs> prolapse. Yeah, or like you know he's like one of those guys where it's like, hey Bob, hey, Bob my asshole fell out. My asshole can't <laughs> see. And you're like, what happened? I don't know. I was sleeping. I woke up. I look on the ground. I thought it was a coin. Right, so I picked it up, or you know, or calamari. I thought it was like a piece of calamari. I picked it up, and it's my anus. We gotta get sewed. You know, put it in the freezer. I'd probably say, <laughs> you put the <laughs> asshole in the freezer. I'd rush over, put it in the plastic bag. Right, we would go to the hospital, and I'd be like to the doctor, "Can you sew this back on? What is it? Is it calamari?" <laughs> the doctor is asking. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I go no. It's my brother's anus. <laughs> and then oh. you have to sew it back on. Oh, man. Yeah. Like, that's my brother takes it to that point. But I love him, you know? Yeah. What are you going to do? You know? But um, you said something to me the other day that really offended me, babe. Oh, gosh. And she goes, because, you know, she goes, you know, you think you're hip and cool, but you're I not. Know, yeah, that's what you said. I know. I'm just going to just say we'll the way I perceived sides. it. We'll hear both sides. Thank you so much. We'll All right. Let's, so this is a court of law. You're the judge, okay? Gilbert? Uh, Bobby Lee? Yes. Yeah, so she says, uh, and she goes, you know, you just, l you're not hip because at, at a certain date in your life, you decided to not absorb what's relevant and cool. Yeah, he's circa 98 forever. Circa 98. And anything after that, right? You know, but he, what she doesn't seem to understand is she's wrong. Mm. It's The reason that I brought it up is because my job as um, your lover and confidant and someone who cares deeply about you is to bring you back to earth. Uh -huh. And you were going on a very nice narcissistic tirade about how cool you were. <laughs> and so I was like, I've I don't. Gotta, I've got to put a stop to this. Uh, I don't. Plaintiff, I, would you like to? Well, I have to say this, okay? I mean, like he was well, pacing around the room, name dropping. No, 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 Donut friend. Mm -hmm. oh, we yeah. went to this dumpling place. Cross Joy. And it was just a saturation of people that wanted to either meet me. Wow, saturation. Or Two people, babe. No, eight. <laughs> the fucking guy that owned the fucking store, the the dumpling place. Well, am I not right? Yeah. The owner of the fucking dumpling place. That's one. And right. one other lady who was like, are the you a comedian? The five people working at, no, the people at Donut Friend. So that's five. Right? Yeah. Come on, let's be real. But can I just say what, what he did? Can I tell you <laughs> When, when yeah. these things order happen, the court. Yeah, order, order the court. court. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when these things happen, yeah. he's looking for me. Like yeah. When people are like trying to take pictures with him, yeah. he's trying to scan the room to, to see, see if, if I'm looking. Uh, yeah, I need oh, her to be looking. I, he wants me to be impressed. No, 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 no. That's what it, I know. What bothers her? You want right? the wink, the wink. So when she looks at me, I want to wink at her. Yeah. To show her how cool I am. So what do you do in this situation, Claude? Are you just avoiding eye contact? Yeah, she completely doesn't I, look I at me. I run away. She runs away, yeah. I yeah. go like, because yeah, yeah. I just know what's coming. I know he's going to tell uh, me. Yeah. He's going to be, and, and my mom always is, she's kind of, you know, she, she's yeah, very like, she wow, Bobby, they really love you. <laughs> <laughs> she does do that. I love her and mom. So, I love your mom so He much. loves her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My I mom's love very mom. supportive. Like, yeah. wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very in. So she like yes ands the shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love her, I love her, I love her. And I'm already in the car. She's the best, she's the best, she's wow, the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob, you're famous. But I don't do, but listen, fuckers. I don't do it, right, 
for my ego. I do it because it's funny, right? I get it. When, no, you don't. Look at me, Gilbert. All right? Yeah. Just listen. I literally, no, hear me out, I dude. started copying what you do to people. It's fun, right? Because I'll look at... So when somebody like says, hey, can I get a photo? Then I'll look at my girlfriend and go like that. And it bothers her. I do it for a laugh. I don't do it for anything else. I don't give a fuck, right? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. People like this podcast. I do it for them, right? We're family. You know, I've never turned down a photo, you know? Mm-hmm. And I, I do like that about you. Yeah, yeah. I'm always cool about it. So, you know, but anyway, she says that I'm not, you know, but, but here's yeah. the thing though, okay? She doesn't realize that at every night, mm-hmm. I scroll through, right, a thousand bands on Bandcamp. Even even people that aren't signed, you know? Oh, like the indie stuff. Yeah, I do know oh. that And I try you. to listen, to find something that's like interesting, or what somebody like I'm really into like there's a little subdivision on band temp home recordings mm-hmm. so people like just writing music in their bedroom I think it's called bedroom recordings is the that's cool offshoot you know mm-hmm. there's different like little sub genres like um, mm-hmm. um, dark ambient mm-hmm. I was getting into right or drone Drone. Yeah. Do- and in Bandcamp, oh. how many times do you have to listen to it to oh, before you have to pay? Stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What? How many times can you listen to it before you have to start to pay? I think like ten times or something. So then w- one day, one day, mm. I was listening to this one guy, this dude from Canada, that n- he's not on iTunes or anything. If it, what I'll do is I'll, I'll find somebody on Bandcamp. And then I'll go to iTunes because I have that thing where I can just listen to, you know, whatever I want. Mm-hmm. Apple but sometimes they don't have, it. they're just only on Bandcamp. So then I'll go to their, then I'll have them get their email and I have to do some sort of PayPal thing. Yeah. 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 And then I'll send them money, like $10, $15. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Rich wallet, rich yeah. wallet, wallet for the future in your pocket. pocket. Fun Fine times. times. <laughs> wow, wow. That was really good, dude. That was amazing. We're on sync. You guys, I don't know how many times I have to tell you guys, you know, it's my favorite wallet of all time. I used to just put, cut, sh- stuff my credit cards into my pocket yeah. whatnot. It's, look at me, give me it, give me, give it, give it to me, right? Give it to me, give it to me. It perfectly fits, you know what I mean? It's got RFID protection. It's what? slick. Every time I open it up, look at you have cash? Every time I use it at a store or whatever, they go, what is that? I go, it's a Ridge Wallet. You don't have one? You're a loser. Mm-hmm. Right? Tell them about it. Guys, don't be a loser and don't go to stores without one because then you're just a loser. So go to RidgeWallet.com <laughs> and use the promo code BELLY for 10% off your sleek front carry. Offered in carbon fiber, yep. titanium, aluminum, lifetime guarantee, free shopping, shopping and shipping worldwide. 500,000 sold. <laughs> 25,000 five-star reviews, shipping and shopping, shopping and shipping. Shipping and shopping. Be the future. And you can also talk like Bobby with Ridge Wallet. Yeah. Don't you have any more products from Ridge Wallet there, Gilbert? I do. I have a backpack, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Ridge Wallet. Wallet. Yeah. And they have a new waterproof <laughs> duffel I'm real excited about. We're getting that soon. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool stuff. And back to the show. Wow. Okay, can I give my side now? Hey, go ahead. Yes. Things? So as he was pacing around the room, basically sucking his own cock, oh, okay. I I had to tell him that, you know, he's not as cool as he thinks. And the reason that I said that is because he was like really, 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 really. And I mean, by, by I mean sucking his dick. Like he was really sucking his dick that day. So I was like, you don't even know. Like I can't share certain joys with him. Like he doesn't understand memes. He doesn't understand like the meme structure how they work why oh, I, they're funny I do <laughs> I do uh, can I just say this mm-hmm. I'm sorry you done with your testimony no not yet okay finish, defend it finish let the defendant and finish, I can't yeah. and like I like I can't share certain joys of like irony with him like I, I don't he doesn't know anything between <laughs> 1998 and today like he doesn't know anything about mainstream anything so I can't joke he doesn't get like references but what I think are funny about like late 90s stuff or early 2000s because I think that he just checked out of the pop culture from that date. So like even about like the fire Festival when I was trying to explain why it was so funny that when it, when it did happen, he had never heard of it before. He's just so um, 
he's very very in touch with a lot of things that are very cool and obscure but very out of touch with like more mainstream stuff that's I've always been like that though okay like today in the car mm-hmm. I asked we drove by a photo a, a, a poster of Ariana Grande mm-hmm. okay <laughs> yeah. yeah now because of my obsession with the voice and auditioning shows you singing know. talent mm-hmm. I'm beginning to like now I have on my iPad um playlists that I've made and one of them is called cheese so anything cheesy that uh, I think is cheesy mm-hmm. and I have all that shit Beyonce I have uh, Mariah Carey I have Whitney I have all that shit oh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. growing up I just didn't care about people who could sing good I cared about more like you know street you know like the Velvet Underground like kind of street you know art art, art rock mm-hmm. pretty much like the talking head, you know, things that are a little weird, mm-hmm. you know. So, but now, so we're driving by, and I'm like, how did she just get discovered? I asked her. Yeah. She's like, she's a Disney girl, whatever. Because so she was married to Pete uh, Davidson, because I know Pete. Yeah, engaged. And, yeah. Engaged, so well, tell me what happened. So I'm I'm asking because I want to get educated. Yeah. I could just look at that poster and go, fuck her. Yeah, I don't want to know this story. I don't give a fuck about her. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's wearing a little fucking bunny rabbit thing yeah, with her little the ears. Bat, bat, you know, Batwoman mask, you know? But I'm interested. Who is mm-hmm. that? You know, tell me about Beyonce. Yeah. I ask. Beyonce, babe. That's how you be calling. Beyonce, yeah. Is that <laughs> what's her name? It's Beyonce. But you've been saying uh, oh, yeah, Beyonce yeah, for Beyonce, like, yeah, Beyonce, since I, I know. I, but you know what? When I said Beyonce, I said, uh, that's what I heard, thought her name was for like nine years. <laughs> <laughs> but since you've been correcting me, I, at nights I lay in bed and I go, Beyonce, Beyonce. You practice. <laughs> I try to reprogram my mind oh. so that I know that it's Beyonce yeah. instead of Beyonce. Okay. And so when I was uh, came back from Coachella, I was like, "Babe, Destiny's Child was there. She brought out Kelly and Michelle, and he was he was just like, who the fuck are they? Kelly, Michelle, Obama? Who the fuck? I don't know. <laughs> no, you brought the Obama? Yeah, the Obamas, the Obama. I don't. But why would I care though? Right? It's like it's just like not knowing who Michael Jordan is, you know. Like they're so massive, right? Like, but here, can I, I'll give you. An, can I just? Are, are, I'm still in court. Yes, yeah. yes. I want to give you another example of why, what, the, so how I'm going to defend myself here. Mm-hmm. So basically, if I it, sometimes I go to an American, <laughs> an American citizen, yeah, and they're wearing an LA Rams jersey, uh huh, mm-hmm. and they'll go, Congrats. they'll go, we're in the Super Bowl. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'd be oh, interesting. So, you know, our tight end, he's really killing it. Oh, I'm sure he is. I try to get involved, right? <laughs> the pass interference on that double back. Was, <laughs> whatever they, they say, you know what I mean? Yeah. He, he tracked back and the tr- pass interference was like, the but, the rookie of the, but the rookie of the year, Beyonce. he really saved it. Beyonce. 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 And he saved the, he saved the day. He the saved play. the play. Yeah. In the fourth quarter. And right? fuck Kelly and Michelle. And at halftime, halftime, they had a talk. And I'll listen to all that. I'll go, yes. Yeah. Right? I try to be open to it, right? Yeah. But if I then go, hey, you know, Eric Cantona, wow, he was great, right? Mm-hmm. And they'd be like, who's Eric Cantona? Oh, one of the greatest French s- soccer players of the history of the world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very More good. people know him than what the fuck your stupid ramps thing you're talking about. <laughs> they don't know, but I don't judge them from not knowing because they just don't know. Yeah. Right. But they should. But in my mind, they should. But they don't. So my point is, is you can't know everything. Kalala, rebuttal. You can't know everything. Of course not. But as a comedian, as somebody who's supposed to be a to have a running commentary on all things pop culture, politics, I think that you should be on the up and up about certain things like like who Cardi B is. So my act would be at Cardi B. Wow. No, 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 no. The I'm bell just bottom saying. she was wearing at that disco jet. <laughs> the bell bottom. You know what I mean? Was, at a disco jet? At the disco jet was like, so in fashion, what's up? I just right? Look, what do you want me to do? I just, I, I think that it's a. Disco uh, jet. I don't know. I'm just making it up. You I, know what I, mean? I think that there's a social responsibility for you as like a podcaster uh-uh. to at least know sir, a, a little thing, a little about everything. He's standing, everyone. And I'm not doing that. I love you. This is a, a very. I'm being, having a very happy he debate. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm having a very. I'm having a very happy debate with you. And I'm not. I'm not on a start. I love you so much. Okay. And, and you're doing your your points are so good. 
and my points are good, and we're just having a, like an. I'm an, just tired oh. of you saying raise the roof, and I'd like. <laughs> Oh, so that's the core. That's the core. I'm, not, I'm sitting back down now. Let's okay. get to okay, the core. And okay, and also, I core. find you to just be super, like, dad core. Yeah, I'm dad core for sure. But like, can I say, yeah, go okay, ahead. Right, but I'm going to say this, though, is that it's funny that you say things of this nature and with this type of energy that you're bringing to the table. Mm. Because our podcast is gaining followers, not losing Uphill. Why is that? Because Papa's the people been relevant. No, no, because people listening, they get it. They get it. They get everyone. The chemistry, everything, right? So you know, I'm not gonna change. I'm not gonna change because I'm a dad core for sure. I think I also have just one more gripe. Oh God, here we go. Get it out there. <laughs> I am just so sick and tired of your fucking playlist. It's just all oh my gosh, white, yes. <laughs> sad. Emo rich boys with fucking three chords on a guitar. It's always talking about being in a room and it's all the same. They all sound the same and it's always just white, sad, yeah. rich boy singing. I'll tell you why. Defendant. Can I tell you why? Defendant, please. Okay, thank ahead. you. Thank you so Is much. Is that all you relate to? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, oh. I'm a upper, oh. Oh. order in the court. Oh. I said order in the court. You shall not do that. Oh. <laughs> I'm an upper middle class white boy <laughs> because I was raised in you know an area where it was just a bunch of white kids. That's a fair point. And um, when I graduated from high school, I moved to La Jolla, and I liked some punk like I liked math rock mm-hmm. and the two bands I really liked well the number one band I liked was a band called Drive Like Jehu who I like them do- Donut Shop the donut, donut shop that we ate at yesterday Donut Friend one of the guys from Drive Like Jehu right owns it right? And, and I bought a shirt that was like a Drive Like Jehu shirt Yank Crime but it was a Donut Friend you know they, mm-hmm. they kind of combined the two so I bought the shirt my point is, is this so I in the early 90s, because of when Nirvana and you know, that Seattle thing was happening, San Diego had a really good music scene. And we had Rocket from the Crypt and all these bands. I used to go to the Casbah. I used to, you know, I had orange hair. And I would go to the vintage clothing store and get, um, you know, Dickies and, and oh, combat Dickies. boots. But I find that genre of music to be amazing. And I grew up on that too. But then there was another thing that happened was I got really depressed. Mm. And I discovered a band, and if you, and anyone want to know what I'm talking about, and you're gonna hate it, but it's I love sadcore. It's a it's a style of music. It's depressing, mm-hmm. and the king of sad ba- sadcore bands is one of my favorite bands of all times, which is the Red House Painters <laughs> from San Francisco. A guy named Mark Kozalik was mm-hmm. the lead singer. He then was in a band called um, Sun Kill Moon. Mm-hmm. I like Sun and Kill Moon. And he did his own solo stuff. And Mark Kozlik, I I've seen you perform a bunch of times, and I, you got me through a really hard time, dude. I really related to his sad white boy point of view. I about love loss and about great. how and being I, insecure about his great. body. He would sing about like I feel inferior about my body, and I want to you know kill myself, kind of a vibe. Mm. And I, I know you're because you're a pretty Filipino girl, like a little Ooh. flower. I was always Ooh. a meek, sad little fucker. Look, it's fine that you listen to Red House Painters. Yeah. It's not fine that you listen to 500 different bands like Red House Painters yes, all it is. goddamn day. And can I say this, too? If you want to listen to Red House Painters. They're painters, great. Sun Kill Moon's no, great. No, no, no. The Red House Painters. Listen to the Roller Coaster album. All right. It's the roller coaster album. Start from beginning to end. If you like that, then go into the other ones too. But I love the Red House Painters, okay? And yes, you're right. I in my band camp, there are things like sad core or slow core. You know, sometimes I get into some um shoegazing kind of stuff. I like shoegaze. Like I love my bloody Valentine. I love my bloody Valentine. Okay, but yes, I have an obsession with really sad white music that's very entitled sounding it's it, okay that's i think that's my problem with it yeah. because this uh, i'll hear a song about like 
you know, why his parents didn't like buy him his brand new pair of shoes. You know what I mean? <laughs> there's never a song. <laughs> or am that, I? That, there's, there's not a song. There's not a fucking song about that. Is this true? Is this no, true? No, 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 no. Fact check. There's it's, no it's, a song it about like, that. It's like, it's so sad core, but the lyrics are so like shallow. And I'm like, that's what you're crying about? No, no. You know, he like, sings go about, deeper. If he did, no, he sings deeper, about. He I would, sings I could, about. He sings about how. He sings about how. You know, a who's girl, he? Mark Hoselick. Oh, but I'm not referring Red to Red House Painter. Painters. Oh. I'm referring to some of the other stuff you listen to, where I'm like, "Holy shit, that's a fucking first world problem, bro." And I'm full of first world problems. You know, that's the part of being in a modern age is, is that you. And, 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 the, and the key is to shake yourself out of it, to be more connected to the world and to know what's going on, you know, with people's lives. And, you know, you know, but, you know, at the end of the day, right, they always say, no matter what you have in your life, right, exterior things like a career or money or whatnot, right, isn't going to fix yeah. you. Yeah. You know, it's an inside job. It's no matter where I'm at in the world, I'm going to be there with me, with my issues. Mm. So I carry it around like luggage. So no matter what happens in my life, I will always, until unless I deal with it, okay? So I get it. I have first world problems and I bitch about things that I shouldn't bitch about. Like, oh my God, the yogurt shop's closed. I, I, I've said that before. And it's like a and I, 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 I looked at her and go, you told me it was open. Oh, <laughs> like he will have like a, a full a scale meltdown. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. meltdown. yeah, because and you could, you went to um, MapQuest and you said it was open. MapQuest and <laughs> whatever. Map. Stop using MapQuest. Or whatever, not MapQuest. What's the other one? Uh, Google Maps. Google Maps. Ways, yeah. And then she's like, I don't know. It just said it's open. It's not. I go, what the, what are we going to eat now? <laughs> and I, and, and, and and I've done that and I admit to it, mm-hmm. you know, but, you know, I'm a bitch. <laughs> I think you should write your own sad core song about first world problems. That would be cool. See, and that's why that would be. I really love you, dude. We should fucking you're, write that. Now you're being positive, right? And you're give, you're, you give me a creative outlet. You could, mm-hmm. you could write songs about like, the yoga why, why is there lint on my beanie? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then like, do a whole song about why, like, the how shop. sad I've never been mad about lint on my bikini, but... Um, <laughs> what are these false... Fa- what are these false... You're, you're really just, you know, <laughs> you're trying to get to me right now, all right? Should you get out of the I'll, skin? I'll, I live with you. I know I'll, what you I'll, cry I'll, about. I'll tell you what I've been... I'll tell you the first rule yeah, problems yeah. that I complain about. And this is going to be so embarrassing. Let's do it. But I'm going to do it, okay? I've complained about... Um, f- that definitely food. Definitely, like... I can see that. You know, mm-hmm. after the comedy store, you know, like the other night, Fahim Anwar, mm-hmm. you know Fahim? Yeah. He goes, um, let's get something to eat. I go, well, there's not a lot of things open. I go, throw me some options. He goes, he threw me like, he didn't know that many places that's open late. Mm-hmm. So he goes, you want ramen? He's like, yeah. So we went to jujitsu. Jiu- 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 Sujita. So Sujita. Sujita. The dip and ramen, yeah. right? And we sat there and I go, um, can we get a uh, get a ramen? And then Fahim goes, "Is there pork in here?" <laughs> it's like all pork. <laughs> it's all pork. I even mean, the broth, everything. Even the sukumen, right? Right, yeah. right. Yeah. It's pure fat, pork fat. Right, right. And I go, "Yeah." He's like, "I can't eat pork." I go, "Why?" <laughs> I, he goes, "Because I'm Muslim." What? How is that a rule? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Eat it. What did he say? He said, "No, I can't eat it." I've never eaten it. You can eat it now. You can eat it now. Because I'm not eating it. I go, yeah, you are. Because they don't have anything else but that. They do. Sujita has a vegetarian ramen. Right, so he got that, okay. right? And they have a chicken one too, the dandan. He, no, there was no dandan. Dandan, dandan, dandan chicken? There was no dandan. Dandan, dandan chicken noodle yeah. they do. I don't even know what I'm getting into right now. Yeah. Wait, what's my point? So you're telling what you're first world you're, problem. Well, you were forcing a Muslim to eat pork, so that's where we're, that's where we're at. Oh, oh yeah, spin yeah. it around, Bobby. Spin yeah, it yeah. around. Spin it around. <laughs> what's the lesson? What's the lesson? I forgot. <laughs> There's no lesson. I went into a story that made no sense at all. I don't know why I said that. No Muslim eat the pork. Eat the pork. Eat the right? pork. And then he wouldn't eat it, and then. It spent. I spent like an hour, like going. Why you're angry about why, food? Yeah. Yeah. Why? You know. Why won't you? 
you eat fuck you eat the fuck it's good the dip in ramen right but it's like my I don't know does that make any sense probably not oh, write a song about it babe I'm gonna write a I song I think there's a funny Sukumen. song <laughs> the Sukumen song yeah <laughs> well no that's not what, that's not a good first world problem that's me just that being funny, fucking though. not knowing what yeah. what religion why won't these Muslims eat pork yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> why won't they, they eat they, pork they should eat pork what's another first world problem um I don't know. How often do you get mad at your phone about stuff? No, not much. No, no, no. I don't get mad at my phone about anything. What's another one, babe? It's just food, really. Uh, that you I complain f- about. Mm. No, tell me another one. <laughs> be real. Be real. I've, We're in the court of law. Be real. Are you sure? Like, I, I, are you sure? Is the Lent one a joke? Was that yeah, real? yeah. Tr- try it, and then if you throw something out, I don't want it out there. Then we'll just cut it out. Just are make you sure. Make yeah, strong. Yeah, wait, make strong eye contact. Do, so you yeah, know. Do it. Do it. So you know. Um, do one. <laughs> do one. One of the things that I don't uh, like, um, particularly about the way you act, is. Oh God! Um, here we go. Oh wait, hold on. I shouldn't. I, pre- I shouldn't. I should do do better. No, no. no you try. Okay. Let's jump to an ad real quick, and then we'll come back to it. Okay, yeah, we'll why, jump why, to why, an why, ad. Why, why? We're doing an ad, and then we'll talk okay, about back it. Okay, that. Yes, Bobby, we do have a sponsor, and tell us about it. Adam and Eve, I'm a sex machine. Need to get off. I love it all, yeah. You guys, adamandeve.com. Dude, you want you want a little device for your PP? You know, or your VV. You don't go to get a Pringles. You don't go to Pringles and and do that thing that my brother and I did. You go to AdamandEve.com. You get yourself a really good um, pocket pussy. Yeah. Right. If you're a woman, you want a nice dildo. You go to Adam and Eve. Go get the dildo. You get six free movies for your viewing pleasures when you first sign up. Is that what it is? Dang. It says here. Yeah, yeah. Six first order. My first order is gonna be a ball gag for you. Yeah, (laughs) I'm gonna get anal beads for myself. I'm straight. I'm getting a butt plug. (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what it's there for. Yep. Or to loosen it. Hey guys, I'm telling you right now, dude. Go to Adam Eve, and um, they have a little, uh, little, uh, a little uh, offer for Tiger Belly listeners. Tell them. So guys, we have a Valentine's offer. So 50% off almost any item plus 10 free gifts. One gift is free shipping at adamandeve.com. The code is belly at checkout. Guys, get into get it. Get Adam and Eve sex, sex machine. machine. Back to the show. <laughs> oh, we love Adam and, and we Eve. We love Adam. But seriously, Clara, Go ahead. back to the the first world problems. Um I Bobby thinks that certain people should be treated better than certain people. Uh oh, <laughs> spaghetti! Spaghetti! Uh oh, spaghetti! Not, not. We're not gonna talk about it. I mean, you can always defend yourself, but you said to be honest, so I was. Yeah, but you're the way you said it though. <laughs> it's crazy. It's a dick what hole. You, okay, what, what you just said, right? And, oh God. Yeah, it sounds bad the way you said it. Okay, well, hold on. I'm, I'll try to make it nice. No, 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 no. I can, I can try to justify what okay, I'm okay, saying. Okay. okay. okay? Well, yeah. so let me finish then. No, wait, my point is this. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I haven't said anything. All right, go, go, go. Ahead. All right. Um, when we're in a restaurant and he doesn't get special treatment. No, no, no. no that's never, that, 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 that never happened. No, my point is this. <laughs> like, no, if he like, has to wait like the other people. No, and, no, 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 that's not, that, no, 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 that's babe, not. Babe, come on. Let's no, be, let's not be real. This is honesty hour. That's, it's not honesty oh, at no. all. It's not honesty at all. It's not honesty at all. Oh, another thing that I want to say. Okay, okay, well, okay, we'll, we'll okay, depart I'll from that. I'll go to my thing, though. No, another thing. There's another thing I really why, don't like. Why can't I defend the other? One time, he's, we, so lately he's been saying, I really need to get help. I really need, you know, to see a therapist. I need mm. to go to a retreat. I was like, yes, yes, yes. All of the above. I support you and whatnot. He was like, I want to go to this particular institute. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yes, I'll sign you up. You know, let me, whatever I need to do for yeah. the papers, right? Yeah. This is good. Yeah. And then I'm like, whoa, he's really into this. Yeah. yeah. And then he was like, do you know that Orlando Bloom and um, Katy Perry have been there? Also, um, Justin Bieber is supposed to be headed there. So, um, yeah, um, that's oh, that's why I want to go. And so I've, I, I thought about this. And I think that no, your king, even though he doesn't want to admit he wants to be the everyday man, he doesn't want to rub, you know, he doesn't want to Hollywood schmooze. There's a part of him that's a very Hollywood schmoozy. And he wants he wants to be in that club. He wants to like just casually like be friends with Justin Bieber. 
Don't know why, but he Def- does. Defendant? <sighs> Did you not want me to mention that? That's fine. I'm going to try to defend myself. And when his manager, Abby, was like, this shit's expensive. Why would the fuck would you pay for this place? You know, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, go to London Bloom goes there. Like, was, <laughs> <laughs> True or false, stop, Bobby? Stop, stop. True or false? <laughs> that would never happen. No one say Objection? That. Objection. 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 Okay. To that. <laughs> Objection. Okay. Orlando Bloom. <laughs> I was like, so what? Facts not enough. Okay, here's 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 the deal. Here's the deal, guys. Um, Slepkin's talking now, real. <laughs> okay, and I will admit to I will admit to some things that I'm not I'm not proud of. Okay. Now sometimes when I'm at the comedy store, <laughs> and John Mayer says hello to me. Yeah. Oh it, feels, it feels good. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Like yeah. Fuck, John Mayer just gave me a hug. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. You know, Chappelle the other day what, took a selfie with me. He goes, hey, let's take a photo. You know, I felt good. Okay? Yeah. Does that, feel, does that feel different than when, like, a fan wants to take a photo? It feels a little different. With you? Yeah, if, 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 if somebody, some random guy, like a valet. Yeah. Let's take a photo. I don't want to. Yeah. Whatever. I don't say no. Yeah. I take a photo. Chappelle asks for a photo. I take a photo. Yeah. Are those two the same? They feel different to me. I don't know where you're getting at. My point is, is this, is that um, with, here's my, and, and we might have to take this whole thing out, but what I'm saying <laughs> is. Hey, I believe in you. You got this. I, 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 yeah, here's, yeah, a, here's what I want to say. You is got this. That, you know, what, I've had arguments with Kalila about, how some people are more important than other people and this and that, right? Mm-hmm. So for instance... Which I don't believe. She doesn't believe that. So, and this is going to sound terrible, but, you know, if a man, if they found, the, you know, if they found, <laughs> they found a man, a regular man <laughs> in Antarctica, okay. and he was in a block of ice, he was frozen, mm-hmm. right? Hold me <laughs> right? And they did thought they 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 saw him. Yeah, right? they saw him. I right. I'm with you, buddy. Right. Come on, buddy. Like, they saw him and yep. they go, Who is this guy? And they go, His name is John Smith. Yep. What does he do? Pocahontas husband. Pocahontas no, 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 husband. not even John. No, John Atherington. <laughs> John Atherington. <laughs> Atherington. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what, how do you spell that? And they go, Who is he? He was just a, you know, he was a coal miner from the eighteen hundreds. Sure. And he was frozen. Yeah. Is that different than finding a frozen body of Tom Hanks. Yeah. So what's more important? <laughs> I would say... Who, and the in pre- the history of time, in the history of the world, in terms of like what people care about, is it more interesting that it was just a coal miner who slipped and fell or if it was like Steve McQueen? Yeah, I'll say, I'll say it is more interesting. Right, it's more... Interesting? And also, more people would be bummed about it. More people would be bummed about Steve McQueen. Oh my God, that's where, let's say Steve McQueen had disappeared. Yeah. Right? Off the face of this planet. One of the biggest actors of the early 70s, right? And then they found his frozen body. Or some random guy, comparatively speaking. John Atherington. Steve, it's John Atherington. Steve McQueen would be more of a thing. It's more important. But that's not what. I was saying I I, I don't. So that was, a, that was that we've had arguments like that before. I, okay, I have a question. Where I'm just telling I, you. I have a question for you then. I have a question. Why every as, new restaurant that we go to, if the owner or someone in that place doesn't know who you are, it automatically the dumplings aren't good. Like. <laughs> All like right, stop, yesterday, stop, 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 stop. yesterday. I okay. well, I'm not done. I'm not done. Can you hear me though? Yeah, I can't hear you right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll tell you guys. I'll tell okay. you guys. Yesterday. Okay. Yesterday we ordered a bunch of dumplings and he was like, "Yeah, they're all right. Are they good? Are they good?" And all of a sudden, he um, later on the owner strolls in, <laughs> and then he takes a picture with Bobby. And then Bobby sits back down. He was like, oh, my God, these dumplings are so good. All of a sudden, everything tastes good to him. Mm. And he, he, I don't understand that. How, why, why does, maybe life tastes better when you're acknowledged. Maybe I'll, I'll, maybe that's it. Well, I guess you could say in a restaurant setting, I guess it's part of the ambiance. So you're like including all the senses of like, oh, it was nice customer service. It was Acknowledge. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Okay. Defend it. You're back. I'm back. Thank you. 
what you're saying to me right now <laughs> has rung true. Has <laughs> rung true. <laughs> and I'm get I'm being able I'm being able to see myself oh. right in a light that's ugly. It's an ugly light. I think it's cute. No, and no, no, it's an ugly light, and it makes me f- f- seem despicable. No, it does. And um, in in the light of the evidence shown before me, it's either run, hide, or face it. Those are my options. Run, hide, or face it. <laughs> Those are three options. Yeah, I'm gonna face it. Mm. Say congratulations. 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 Thank you. Okay. So, from this day forth, (laughs) right? Get your fucking smile off your face, George. I fucking swear to God, I'll gouge your eyes out. (laughs) I will gouge your fucking eyes out. Through the glass. Thank you. From this day forth, (laughs) I am a changed man. Okay? The dumplings are going to be good, as is. Mm -hmm. You hear what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. If the dumplings are fresh, what are you smiling at? You flat face. I'm just thinking about these dumplings. I bro. know. I'm just thinking about it. If the dumplings are fresh, I'm gonna enjoy it. Mm. Okay. A lot of my little things about what I'm saying and the things that I believe in or not believe in are just to cause a reaction to people. Mm-hmm. Okay. To who? To you. To you know, it's fun. I will to say. fuck around. All I right. will say that all these things that I've mentioned about you, yeah, I I think that you think that they're all defects. It's actually the reasons why I'm in love with you. I find you to be so. <laughs> I mean, you so had this guy like, on the fucking <laughs> like amusingly narcissistic. I mean, it is. It is part of his charm because after when he does that, I I confront him about it and we have we cry laugh about it mm-hmm. about what a classist he is. It's so I'm not I, I love all those parts about you. So I don't want you to change. The drone music. Okay. Okay. So I think we lost followers. <laughs> I do. I really do believe. Oh, why? Where? Because of just because I'm a piece of shit. It just makes me no look way. so weird. I think that's why people love you. No, I think I, you're we lost a bunch of follow followers, and I'm going to be a different man. I'm going to travel the earth. Oh, don't be boring. You know what I mean? With just a fucking pillowcase, <laughs> <laughs> a little stick of pillowcase, <laughs> and a book, and a journal, and a couple of pieces of underwear. All right, and I'm going to move on with my life. I'll be that. Okay. Oh, I've been also obsessed with Neil Brain lately. Again, we yeah, went through I, a phase. I know, but I'm re obsessed with Neil Brain. He's so the one anyone, who did Faithful Findings. Any, everyone okay, watching. Anyone, that. everyone watching, just go to YouTube. All right, it's one of the worst movies ever made. You think that the room is bad? You think that um, what's his name? Uh, what's his the guy's name? What, which, oh, Tommy Wiseau. Tommy, yeah. Tommy, 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 Tommy Wiseau. Yeah. You think Wasau. that he's the worst? I think Neil Brain is the next level. Mm-hmm. Faithful Findings. Of, of yeah, and there's a scene. Look up the suicide scene. It okay. is. One of the funniest, worst acted, ridiculous scenes Wait, is that I've the ever one, seen in my life. Is that the one where the guy is taking the pills, but then there's no pills in no, his hand? No, 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 no. Yeah, it's the same movie, but in the, earlier in the movie. Have you seen that scene? Mm-mm. Oh, I got to show you that scene. Oh, have you seen it. that scene? I want to watch oh, it. Oh, it is so good. It's so bad. I really like bad movies. And, and I don't know if you guys know that. So, Fateful Findings. I love Samurai Cop. Uh-huh. There was, a, there was another Cop. movie that a Korean dude made in the 1988 or 86 it's called Hawkeye 1986 it's about a Korean dude he's like a Mel Gibson-y kind of a character and uh, it's a really good movie um, but uh, yeah I just feel so sh- full of shame right now I don't, don't. even know. yeah I am don't come on don't even, you were yeah. just joshing no 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 I, I just can't <laughs> channeling my inner George I, I can't really I, I, sh- I you share were just the re- I share the restaurant thing I'm not gonna lie really yeah you don't have to do that to put myself no, but to my I, I get called out by Cindy all the time she's like oh you're only acting like that because the fucking guy was like laughing at your jokes no I'm but a bad guy that good. it's weird you are that guy and I love you because Wait, you're that guy what jokes are you pulling at the, uh, at the restaurant Gil? you know when you make the owner laugh and they're like bring you free stuff even though the food's not that good <laughs> but you keep saying it's good <laughs> so you keep getting more free food more bad free food because I'm fat didn't you have to follow um, Chevy Chase the other day at the comedy store yeah <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm trying to switch gears here, sweetie. I know. I just feel bad about my character. We can cut it out if you don't want people to know that about you. Yeah. I aspire to be like you, you know? That's not... That's, that's ridiculous. Future. That's ridiculous, you fucking... <laughs> just put him in a bad mood. Yeah. <laughs> From bad to worse. I'll try to switch gears, I guess. Mm-hmm. Anyway... Everyone's the same. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's the same. Um, yeah, ask me again. Babe? Yeah. Didn't you have to follow Chevy Chase at uh, well, the comedy I didn't, yeah, store the Yeah, I had to follow night? him, but... Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I walked in, and Chevy Chase was sitting in Mitzi's old chair. Oh. And I looked at him, and I go, oh my God, it's Chevy Chase. And then I went to the cover with I go, there's Chevy Chase sitting there. What is he doing here? And they said, he's going up. You guys met before? Or? No. Mm. No. Um, I have to say that there's different sides. There's different ways I feel about him. Because he, you know, I grew up with, I mean, he's one of the reasons why I want to be in the business is because as a kid, I loved, loved Fletch. I love the vacation movies, even European vacation, even the Christmas vacation mm. is so funny. Yeah, just rewatch it. Yeah, I yeah. love Christmas vacation. I love um The Griswolds. Yeah, I love yeah, I the loved Christmas. um <laughs> Caddyshack. I loved a lot of the movies that he did. I loved him on SNL. And I was I'm a huge fucking fan. There are things about him that later in life that I know about him that has affected the way I perceive him, but it, it's not a personal thing. It's it's an it's a, an account of things that I've had friends, you know, worked with him or you know mm-hmm. where he's acted bizarre in a bizarre fashion. But I feel bad about that night because he was on stage and I, and he was doing this answer answer a question kind of thing where you ask me a question I'll answer which is. Cool. He's, he wants to get into stand up, and uh-huh. what a what a delightful way of, you know, getting into it. To go in front of a packed room was sold out, and he walked up there and he was brave and he and he did did it right. But I was at the cover booth, and I was I was like, this guy's eating it. Hmm. And then Eleanor goes, grabbed me, and she, he goes, come me out here, and I she pulled me out, and I I go, what's the matter? She's like, the cover booth. That's his daughter. So she was hearing you. And she heard me say that. Uh, and so I was just like, why did I say that? Oh. You know, like I always open my big mouth. I like her too. She's been working there for months. I like her so much. Yeah. She's so cool. And now I don't even know what to do. Do I say I'm so sorry for saying that? No. No. She probably thought the same thing. Maybe. No. Or was she was nervous for her dad. Yeah. Aww. And she's working there. Her dad's going up doing this question and answer thing. She wants to fit in. She's an actress herself. So I just feel like I'm conflicted about the whole fucking mm. thing. You know? I think the next time I see her, I go, hey, I, I, you know, I don't know what to even say, but maybe I should say something. Let me tell you something. What? Chevy Chase is a fucking icon with probably the thickest skin of anybody around. That's Chevy Chase. Do you think that if, even worst case, mm. and I'm pretty sure his daughter is... She's in she's in the world of comedy. She has equally thick skin, just like you do, just like a lot of comics do. Yeah. I don't think it's a big deal at all. She was probably like, "Yeah, he's eating it, but no big deal." It's my yeah, dad. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's 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 um You know, in in life I have always learned to just keep your fucking mouth shut. <laughs> keep your your opinions to yourself, and I just don't learn those messages because I just keep talking. <laughs> And every time I open my fucking mouth, I burn bridges. <laughs> uh, it's been the case of my whole life. Like, I just will say something to the wrong guy. And then they'll look at me and go, you're just talking about my cousin or whatever. You know what I mean? Jeez. Like, yeah. uh, you know, the whole reason why Vince Vaughn hates me is because of my big mouth. Mm. The reason why every anyone that has a problem with me is because of my big mouth. I just say shit and then I just freely without any... And it's not a good character defect, you know. That now, the today's show is just about how many problems I have. You know, I just, you know, I, 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 I got to learn from these things, you know. At so, the Institute of Orlando Bloom. No, this institute I'm going to go to. It's gonna. I'm going to be a changed man there. 
That's cool. Yeah, I'm gonna go. My concern about places like that is that you go for a week, right? Yeah. On this retreat, and they're very like they really try to get into your head and try to like pick apart things about your life that you're not content with, and they try to kind of like piece it back together, and maybe you can draw inspiration from it. But what's scary is that when you're out there in the pretty fucking redwoods of California or whatever, to me that's not real life. Are you able to take everything that they teach you there and apply it when you're living in the difficulties of our day-to-day, which is in a smaller space? Yes, because I'll tell you why. People people say things to me all the time, people that are, you know, that I respect, and they say things to me, either career decisions or how I'm living my life or a, b- a bunch of things. And some of it I take in and I go, Okay, I'm with you there. That is something that I can change about myself. And that's the things that are a little more personal and things that I disagree with. I don't take everything, you know, in. Mm-hmm. I'm my own ma- ma- man. I'm my own mind. And I can understand that, you know, in some things. Like, I'll give you an example. Um, You know, back in the day when I was in heavily into 12 step groups and I was sober mm-hmm. back when I was in my early 20s and I was talking to one of my sponsors about Mitzi Shore and I had a resentment or whatever mm-hmm. and he goes well what you gotta do is you gotta tell her your resentment you know that's in you know that's what we do as sober members of whatever whatever I go so you want me to go up to the Mitzi Shore, my boss, <laughs> the the lady that I hardly talk to, who's my boss, who has all this power in comedy, and tell her about my resentment toward her. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> that's like, well, bad that's advice. What, he goes, "That's what we do." Yeah, I go, "That's what you do." <laughs> that's you. That's do. you do. do. Not me. Do you know? There are certain things in, you know, in life where you just kind of go. It's like saying somebody that you know is a um, an aide at the White House, and Barack Obama doesn't say hi to that aide, like and that Barack Obama, and that aide that aide is like, "Well, I'm in sober, remember?" And, and my sponsor says I had to say something. Are you out of your fucking mind, Mr. You President? Let it go, Mr. President. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you let it go. So, like, I'm not retarded. I know that in some circumstances you say it, mm-hmm. and in some circumstances you that it, you know if I was you know, working at an insurance company, maybe if I was working with a coworker and they said something about my wife mm-hmm. that I have a resentment and I was in, I was sober and my sponsor said, hey, um, next, you know, please don't say that about my wife because it makes, this is how I feel about it. I, I yeah. get that. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to like Mitzi Shore or, you know, the president of the United States, you don't do it. <laughs> it just, it's just, it's just not yeah, yeah, done yeah. Yeah. ever, right? So I, I, I think I, I'm able, I can just go, you know, I, I hear what you're saying, but no, or yeah, I, 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 that rings true and that's something that I can work on. So if I go to an institution like that and they say, well, you should do this and you should do that, or like if they said, you know, I think, you know, doing a podcast um, isn't really that helpful to your life because you're saying a bunch of things, you know, and I'd be like, no, it's, it's reinvented my career. Mm-hmm. Tiger Belly is my family and I will not stop. That's ridiculous, mm-hmm. right? I mean, that's ridiculous. I would never, I would never agree to that. I would leave. I would t- t- get my fucking pillowcase and my little stick and, and take my underwear and go fuck off. <laughs> you say lipstick? Yeah, whatever. A little underwear. A little underwear. underwear. Yeah, yeah. A little stick. A little st- oh. So what I'm saying is, is that yeah, I think that if I go to a retreat, that I will take in the things that I feel like, you know, rings true to me and something that I can improve. If they say, you know, your porn addiction is causing all these problems, I 100% agree with you. What do I do? You know what I mean? Well, you know, you need somebody. You need to do this. You need to do that. I will do those things. Mm -hmm. If it's going to destroy me, I'll do those things. We think that, you know, your fear of rejection is keeping you from booking, you know, certain auditions that you're afraid to do. And we think that you should welcome failure. Mm. Okay, I'll do that. If you think that that's going to make my life better, that's something doable. We think that you should quit stand-up. No. Fuck off. <laughs> Are you your fucking mind? Mm-hmm. Fuck you. I would say that. You white piece of shit. Bye, Orlando. 
<laughs> Wait, Bobby, we just started no, getting along. No, fuck you, we Legolas. Along. <laughs> and I would leave. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think yeah. that you know there are things that they they might even say things that are very complicated, like you know um, you have to write things down how you feel about your dad. Uh, journaling. Yeah. And journaling, I would even do that, you know, because that seems like I'm peeling some sort of onion to get to some sort of mm -hmm. root yeah. cause of something. You I'm know? all about journaling. I think that everyone should still journal. Yeah, but um, it's just to check in with yourself every day, you know. Yeah. But um, yeah, I kind of want to do it because Oliver Hudson did it. <laughs> no, Oliver Hudson went to a place. Yeah. Over the Christmas break, I'm not gonna say where it was. Oh, recently. Okay. Yeah, he, yeah, he came cool. back, and he was a completely different dude. Good for him. And he looked at me. We were in makeup, and he goes, "You should do it." Mm. I go, "Really? Yeah." And you know they do things where they go in a room and they make animal noises and stuff. But um, <laughs> you know what I mean? You're good at ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'll do those things. You, you love those. Things. Yeah, like yeah, they have play day. There's a day where they play like board games and stuff Ooh. to get in touch with your inner child. Okay, I'll do that. That sounds fun. I, I feel like that's not the right thing to do so for you. You're well, so I'm gonna do it. Yeah, man. Play Jenga. I saw a video, a video of you doing the Christmas thing where you guys had a. Tra a dress and drag. Yeah, yeah. You guys are so competitive. You and oh, your brother. So fun. We My were, brother and I are very competitive. So we competitive. were on the same team, Bobby and I, and we lost. We lost. Mm -mm. There was some cheating going on. Next time we do that, though, we need a real judge. <laughs> Somebody outside. Need a real judge. Outside. You know what I mean? An outsider. Yeah, an outsider. Yeah. Because I felt like the other team for sure cheated. They were cheating for sure. The game you know is mean? called Maria Went to Town. Yeah. And you guys should play it. You it's a parlor it. game that Filipinos play a lot. Yeah. But, um,. Said. We're over an hour. Yeah, but we have to cut all that stuff out, no? You you uh, you told me to say it, babe. Yeah, but I didn't know what you were gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think I was gonna say instead? I don't remember, but I just remember it not being that. <laughs> you know I mean? And then when you said it, I was just like, oh my god, Shit. maybe I am shallow. Maybe you know, maybe that that maybe th that is the reason why I do it. Did I wanted to? I don't know. It's, it's a difficult thing to really even ponder because I've been doing it for so long that so what? what is the root of why I do it? Babe, and why I hate a lot of things about myself. I know, I'm just saying, I'm just so talking. So many I know, things but about myself. you brought myself. it up, so I'm just dealing and with I'm it. And I'm sure you hate a lot of things about me. So I'm just, you know. But you know, the one thing that I, I'm not going to give up is this podcast and I'm not going to stop doing it because um, it really is the one thing in my life that's consistent and and fun to do and it's, a, it's it's something that i have control over and it's and i know it's going well because you know people that didn't want to be a part of it are now wanting to be a part of it mm -hmm. and i say to those people no <laughs> i do nice. yeah i go i asked you 2 years ago to help us and they're like they're like oh, yeah we didn't think it was going to yeah well it is a thing and now that we're about and we're sailing away. Have fun on shore. Mm. Okay, so um, so I know this is a boat that's sailing. It's probably sinking right now because of my <laughs> my mood. But um, give me a unhelpful advice, maybe that'll help me. Unhelpful advice with Bobby and no, we'll do it afterwards. Kalila, wow. they're going to kiss kiss. Dear Tiger Belly, I'm a Korean girl and had some plastic surgery. Eyelid surgery, oh, oh. nose job, chin implant. My freshman year of college. I'm now 32. I've never told my current boyfriend that I've had plastic surgery, and I've been with him for two years. Now I feel like it's too late to tell him, and I feel like he'll hate me because he always tells me that he hates girls that get plastic surgery. Oh, shit. What should I do? I've never known him, uh, shown him any baby pictures because he would know immediately. I feel like I have, a, I have to hide a large part of my identity and history from him because it feels terrible. Bobby, do you hate girls with plastic surgery, or should I should I come out clean to my man? Thanks, love you all. Well, you know what happened to that Chinese man. Remember that Chinese guy who um, had married ugly babies, married that woman, who yeah. married that woman, wow. had ugly babies, and then left her because he found out that she had plastic, plastic surgery, surgery yeah. and that's why she he has ugly babies. <laughs> so before it gets to that point, you should say something, and also <laughs> yeah. and and also at the same time, it's like. If you got it done, you did it for a reason. You probably look great. Yeah, you, you know, like and, that. and it's good for your self-esteem. I don't mind that, right? What I don't mind, what I do mind, 
is the lie. Deception. Deception. You should it, it, you should just sit down with them and go, listen, this is what I did. I'm I don't regret it. I look good. I'm proud of it. You know, own up to it and go, if he doesn't want to be a part of your life because you had plastic surgery, then what kind of man is that guy? Mm-hmm. Right? But she is entitled to the, her privacy as well, sweetie. She doesn't need... It's her body, her choices. She doesn't need to let anybody know if she doesn't want to. Okay, but the thing is... If is, he's going to breed with her on the basis of a chin, then he's a shitty guy. Do you know what I mean? If that's what's... If your entire decision of having children hinges on a chin... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't think it does. Yeah, but it's, if you... I don't think I mean, what, what is it? Let's say, let's say you and I, you and I, mm-hmm. want to get pregnant. You mm-hmm. can't get pregnant, mm-hmm. and we go to the hospital, and the doctor goes, pulls me aside, and goes, "You know that she's a man, right?" <laughs> Kalila. Yeah, and I'd be like, "What?" God, I guess I should tell you. Yeah, this. yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> no, I'm just giving you a center. I know, I know, I don't believe. Obviously, I'm just making it up. But you know what I mean? But let's say she said that, right? In nowhere in my head, I'm going to be like, yeah, but I love her. <laughs> I think that's a big, that's too big of a thing. Yeah, but that's not, that's different through. than I think it's, it's, an, it's 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 a extreme version of what this is. I think. Yeah, that's a very extreme version. But we're just talking about a chin. It's not going to get but in the way still, of her ability to reproduce. Or that's get fine. Pregnant. But what I'm saying though, it's still something that you hid from me, yeah. right? It's hiding it. You're hiding it, and I just would rather be honest with it. It's if, to me. It's like if I if I looked at photos of you and you look like, you know, a ghoul. Like, what if you look like, like me? <laughs> yeah, like she, me. No, look like long hair, George, with long hair. Yeah, yeah. You, with George long hair, right? And you look like that now. Yeah. I'd be like, ah, that's a big thing for me. Yeah. Also, wouldn't she want to know if you really loved her? Yeah, like, I think that's her? a thing that if I if, if she told me, that's one thing. Right? I'd yeah. be like, okay, she's being honest. I love her. <laughs> yeah, know? but she's dealing with a guy who has outwardly said he hates chicks <laughs> with plastic surgery. Well, that's the dilemma you're in, right? Know, and we're supposed to help her through the dilemma. <laughs> but it's supposed to be unhelpful. <laughs> so do what we're talking to. Yeah. I, I, mean, I, don't, I mean, I don't, I don't, I mean, I, I, come on, she would have to tell it's him. It's no way. Yes, yeah, so you have to tell because her. Because then. It's like if you didn't tell your partner, like I didn't want to, I don't know, have kids, right? Ten years down the line, you're yeah. like, oh, I don't want to have kids, but you t- this whole time you told me you wanted to have kids. Well, now we're ten years it's in. It's different than a fucking chin and a nose, you but guys. He straight Look, up hates girls that have plastic surgery, right? But then if 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 this is what I would do, I'm like, okay, this guy doesn't like it, right? But also, this is my body. This is my, you know, this is the choice that I made well before I knew him. I'd be like, here are all my baby pictures. If he looks at them and he doesn't question them. Then I everything's great. That's right, best fine. case scenario. Okay. Now if he asks me, it, wow, like you were straight up, like you you didn't have a chin and you look like your nose was fixed. Did you get a big? Yeah, that's it. And if he has a problem with it, dump his ass. Yeah. He's a fucking piece of shit. Do you know what I mean? You did it because you felt insecure about it. Whatever your reasons are, they're valid. It's your body, whatever. What I'm saying is, you should not withhold baby pictures and so much of your life yeah. because you're worried about him dumping you because if he does dump you he's a piece of shit that's basically what I'm on. saying yeah. baby I mean that's exactly what I'm saying I'm just saying that just tell it him should that. just be about honesty it's like but he should. she shouldn't sit him down and be like there's something I need to say that's a little too fucking serious for me if you were let's say I was a girl we were yeah. dating yeah. you were Jewish yeah. and I said I was Jewish Yeah. but then later you found out I was Muslim Yeah. would that be a thing I think that would be a thing for a lot of people that are Jewish yeah, or I mean, Muslim yeah. yeah there we go so that's not a chin and a nose. <laughs> oh my god, you guys uh, are taking it too far. No, but guys look at things like that, right? We're very physical. Like we're we're not gonna lie. Like come on, we're, physical attraction is a thing. Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah, but it, I, I this is a guy's point of view. I think. Yeah, it also, seems just, so don't just, just, don't, just don't lie to me. Just don't lie to me. But getting a nose job is shallow. But that's your opinion, George. What if she's? This is something that she was a, you know, really, really bullied about. This is something that people she's been really down about her whole life. It's shallow to you, but very meaningful to her because maybe it, you know, it 
made her less insecure, brought her out of her shell. All those reasons are reserved mm-hmm. for her and not for you to ever make a judgment about. Those are her reasons. And well, you should respect those I'm, reasons I'm, I'm why someone to think, does that. I'm trying that. to think. I'm trying to think. You have a point. I'm going to go with you. <laughs> just, just go the opposite of what George said. <laughs> yeah. I don't want, I don't like what he's saying. Well, I, I was, don't like what you, I, I have to understand? Jump. No, the reason I'm saying this is because mm-hmm. my mom had a nose job. She mm-hmm. doesn't let anybody else know, but because she, she was late, mm-hmm. early on in her weightlifting career, yeah. she was a weightlifter. I did yeah. not know she that. She had a bad accident and the bar broke her oh, nose. Oh, 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 oh. And, you know, she very quietly got a nose job to fix a very broken nose, which she was very insecure about for years. And my dad's like, yeah, of course. This is in the 80s or in the early 90s. My mom know? had surgery too. Did you know her eye? Yeah. You couldn't see her pupil. She was so cross-eyed that the pupil went into her fucking face. Really? How did they yeah. fix that? I don't know how they did it, That's but they intense. did something yeah. to fix it, right? Yeah, but... And she doesn't want anyone to know. Right, and the same thing with my mom, and <laughs> it's all these reasons why... But if I came out, and, you know, all cross-eyed, that'd be weird. Your dad would be like, yeah. what? <laughs> but I, I respect her decision to do it. It made her very insecure for a very long time. You're right. And hey, Lee, what's her name? Uh, we'll just say, last name is Lee. Lee... I changed my mind. Fuck them. <laughs> keep it your secret. <laughs> Secrets. Yeah, keep it your secret. Who cares? Yeah, he loves it. Yeah, yeah, he loves yeah, loves yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's a shit? Well, um, that was a pretty good tiger belly, I thought. <laughs> there were a lot of comments. People were kind of, they love the guests, but they're like, it's been, people are counting that we haven't had a solo one. Oh, in now so I long. feel like we've let them down. We no. should have really no, come out with a bang, babe. No, they're <laughs> happy. Trust me. How do you know? This was great. Yeah, but I, no, I know. But there's some. There's a lot of things that I said about me that came out here, that was real. Like I didn't. It was ugly. I feel like now I'm gonna be the enemy of. No, the you're not gonna be. I'm gonna say this for too. Pointing these out. I'm gonna say this you. too. Hey, mm-hmm. sleepers! I know you're listening. I need help. So Wait, you know this the, is important. You know, it's very important. You know I'm on a show. It's splitting up together. And um, I know that a lot of people see the show and they go, "I'm barely on it," which is true. There's some episodes that they leave me out of it, but. I have one coming out. It's the Valentine's episode. Ooh. And I'm in the whole thing. It's about my character. I really need people to see it. That specific one. That I think specific it's like one. February 12th, I think. Yeah. So <laughs> look at your TV guide uh, or however you do it. And please, and I, I can't have you DVR it. Watch it live. Live. Mm-hmm. And anyone listening, you're doing me a big favor for the Valentine's episode of Splitting Up Together. Watch it live. Okay. I think it's the Tuesday before Valentine. So whatever date that is, I think it might be the 12th. Yeah. I would really much appreciate it. It's great because they specific, they don't do this, but they specifically showed my episode to the president of Warner Brothers. Oh. And he came up to me and he goes, he kissed me on the, he hugged me and kissed me on the cheek and he said, it was really funny. The Asian guy? No, he's Peter Roth. He's not Asian. Oh. <laughs> Is Peter Roth Asian? He's not Asian. <laughs> that's what not a, Asian? Is that a traditional Asian name? <laughs> who the fuck is the Asian guy? There's a Warner Brothers like CEO who is a, a Japanese dude. Maybe yeah, but not on the. T- he's the president of the television. Oh, department. okay, never mind, never mind. Of all Warner Brothers, is Asian. I don't know. Yeah. What Asian guy? What the fuck are you talking about, bro? <laughs> Peter Roth, obviously. <laughs> the Japanese no, Peter Roth. Peter Roth ain't no Asian. He's like Italian or something. Yeah, yeah. Dude, <laughs> anyway, sorry. You just put a fucked up mood to the whole thing. Yep. No, because I'm thinking to myself, is he Asian? <laughs> so, all they, this time. Did the Asian the guy thing. kiss my cheek? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, so check man. that out. And um, I don't. It's so cold in here. I don't know who put the air on, but I'm gonna go turn it off. <laughs> Kalila, all right, sir. thank you. Oh, any shows for Bobby Kalila? Yes, Bobby will be at the Irvine Improv. Uh, February 21st weekend, I think. Oh, wow. Okay. So, everybody, please come out if you're in the LA area. That would be awesome. Michael I'm gonna Bisping force... might be there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Maybe. Michael Bisping might be there. Didn't he say? Yeah. And also, I'm going to force George and, and Gilbert to be there with me. I'll come. Wait, when? At the weekend of February 21st, I believe. Yeah, George, we might even have some shirts. Huh. Okay. Maybe. Okay. You guys should show up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um... Yeah. I also wanted to give a shout out yeah, to, um, um, well, Gobi is trying to give a shout out too. <laughs> to Bones. Can you close that door, please, George? Thanks, George. 
What's your shout? Who's your um, shout out? To? My shout out is to a girl named Nicole and her partner. For I posted last week about a cat my sister found oh, yeah. in her yard, and she she's the sweetest. He she is the sweetest cat ever. And um, Nicole stepped up and said, "I'll foster," and so the cat is still with her. Um, but yeah, tell them about the cat though. I, I mean, you've met the cat. Uh, the the cat. I I, I okay. This cat. Listen. It's a special listen. Cat. This is this cat. Is the most special cat I've ever seen. I really, I almost in my head, in my twisted mind, I was like, "No way! How can I get it? Get it? You wanted to keep another yeah. animal? I know I couldn't do it, but at the end of the day, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but that's how special this cat. This cat is so friendly, so loving, so cute. He's a tabby. He's she, he's a boy, right? I think it's a boy. I think most tabbies are yeah, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's the best. So, um, I already have a tabby. Right, Goo Goo? Yeah, that's your tabby. Yeah, that's my tabby. But um, yeah. Um, so I think that if we're still actively trying to find um, his owner, we're putting up flyers. But if no one claims him in, in a week or so, he'll probably be um, up for adoption. So oh, we also scanned him for a chip and have a chip. No chip, yeah. Nothing. No chip. Nobody's come forward. It's um, the best cat ever, guys. But this cat's super, super special, super sweet. So if you guys are interested yeah, you and live in the L.A. area, um, send a DM to Gilbert. Yeah. Direct message. Direct, Direct message. message, Gilbert. All right, I'm oh, allergic to cats, so this will be and great. And he'll screen for potential owners because I I am not on there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks again to our or oh, George. Do you have any shout outs? Um, to your cousin or anything? Oh, another girl I wanted to do a shout out. Who? My cousin Juliana desperately wanted. She my cousin Ju, my cousin my net my niece Juliana. <laughs> Um, lives in Cebu, Cebu. and she um, oh, she was yeah, promised yeah. Um, two tickets to this fucking I guess this show, um, this concert that um, she wanted to go to. So she got all dressed up, and it was five p.m. Yeah. and she was supposed to meet my other niece, and they were, and my other niece was supposed to have the two tickets for her. Uh-huh. So Juliana um, is ready to go, and then her mom calls me and says the tickets fell through. Juliana doesn't have tickets. But lo and behold, a Tiger Belly fan from Cebu wow. steps up to the plate and gives tickets to my niece for free. That's and amazing. they're not cheap tickets. That's amazing. And so I want to give a shout out to her handle is Isa Please. That's I-S-S-A-P-L-E-A-S-E. Isa Please. So shout out to you. And when we get to Cebu, we'll, we'll come say hi. Dope. Yeah, we'll come see how to. Isn't that sweet? Just so sweet. That's yeah. so nice of her. So sweet. Uh, thanks again to our sponsors, The Zebra, Ridgewall, and Adam and Eve. Start saving today with Zebra at thezebra.com slash belly. That's thezebra.com slash belly. Begin the new year right with your slim, sleek front carry wallet. Uh, get 10% off with the at ridgewallet.com and use the code belly. And adameve.com is offering 50% off almost any item plus 10 tantalizing free gifts for valentine's day so get those gifts and watch splitting up together because it's gonna go crazy so just <laughs> so just use oh, i'm trying to cross promote so, so okay dumb. i'm trying to cross promote for us okay <laughs> just use the offer code belly at checkout about? uh oh george has a message for the whole slept kingdom he wants us he wants us we want to thank you guys for getting us in the top 40 of itunes comedy charts so we just hit 5,000. so a uh, review so thanks to all of you guys and george where can we send packages 1626 North Wilcox, number 161, Hollywood, California, 90028. Ba-boom. Send Bobby, Kalila, George, or anyone. Dreamwater powder. He needs it, guys. He's running out. need it. I don't have any. And thank you all to the Real Papaya Super Sleepers and Premium Episode subscribers on our Patreon. To be part of the exclusive Tiger Belly family, go to patreon.com slash Tiger Belly. Kalila, where can we follow you? At Calamity K on all forms of social media. You can find everything Bobby at Bobby Lee Live. George. George underscore Kimmel on Instagram. Have a good night. Bye, everybody. Bye.